okay we will quickly see the solution of uh, 2.5 part c i will recommend you to see first a part and b part to get the very simple idea of this problem okay so what they give they give one mosfet source is connected to 1.9 gate is connected to 1 volt vx like drain is connected to vx vx is variable from 0 to 3 we need to find ix and we need to find gm of this device again source and drain are interchangeable whoever is having higher potential will be drained lower potential will be source so from 0 to 1.9 so how to decide this value basically in the b part i didn't tell whatever your fixed voltage at any terminal for other terminal that voltage will be your separation point for from for here it will be 1.9 for b for part b it was 1 volt so from 0 to 1 volt your circuit will looks like this 1.9 will be connected at, at drain here you will connect gate is 1 volt and source is variable from 0 to 1.9 this is part a okay for part b i mean don't confuse between this part a b c and this part i'm just let me just change pi part i and part double i i means from 0 to 1.9 and from for double i it's like 1.9 to 3 for 1.9 to 3 the gate is connected to 1 volt source is connected to 1.9 and this is connected this is drain and that is variable from 1.9 to 3 this is very easy part because your vgs is minus 0.9 so your i is 0 your gm is 0 so for this part your id is 0 gm is 0 you don't need to worry about anything else for this part we need to see that okay for which point the device will be start and after start if it is in saturation or drive we need to see that so this vgs must be larger than vth to have some current out of this uh, uh, mosfet we are remember we are not considering any current that is we are considering that i is id is almost zero for vgs is less than vth though it's not correct in real situation um, especially when you are working with uh, 20, 20 around nanometer technology this will not be true it will some current there but we are considering that it will be like 150 n or something like big technology node large technology node so your id will be zero for that condition okay so that condition is basically 1 minus vx that is vgs is should be greater than 1.7 for your uh, any current because that will be less than that uh, voltage will be your cutoff voltage so ultimately you will see 0.3 so vx is less than 0.3 that means vgs is higher than vth will be having some current otherwise your current will be zero and gm will be zero from 0.3 to 1.9 remember this part is already having id and gm both zero so from this 0.3 voltage to 3 voltage your current is zero same way your gm is also zero if you will see this now we need to find this and this curve so if you will see here let me find let me put this condition and put some value and let's see what's happening VDS is greater than VGS minus VTS. This is a saturation condition. Let me see if it is fulfilled or not. 1.9 minus VX that is VDS. Why? Because 1.9 1.9 minus VD VX sorry. That is VX. Um, 1 minus VX minus VTH. This will be your uh, um, condition with some value vx vx uh, will be cancelled out and you will see 1.9 is greater than 1 minus 0.7 that is 0.3 that is always true so this device will be either in um, cutoff region that means it will not going to start and if it is going to start in this particular condition for 1.9 drain voltage and uh, 1 voltage of vg gate your device will be in saturation region so it will follow this equation one half means zero x w by l vgs this is vgs minus vts square and gm will be mu n zero x w by l 
VGS minus VTH this point 0.1 and point 0.7 is giving point 0.3 1 minus point 0.7 so don't confuse this is VGS minus VTH only so here is square term is a linear um, equation linear equation what I mean you will get the straight line this point you can find from um, this equation if you want to calculate this values you can you prefer um, 2.1 the first video of this series and remember one thing to get simplified um, answer we are not considering any second order effect channel length modulation or uh, body effect we are not considering that okay so this is your answer to 2.5c thanks